Welcome to Open Source Options. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can display elevation data for the entire United States in QGIS. Now, I'll say this elevation data, um, you're not going to be able to do analysis with it. It's going to be for display purposes only, um, but you can also display it really easily for the entire, for most of North America, actually, for the United States and Canada. And so let's go ahead and get to it. You want to go to viewer dot national map dot gov slash services and we want to come down to these theme overlays right here there are a lot of different ones here we want to find the 3DEP um, elevation which is right here and we're going to go to this WMS link and if we click on this I'll show you here but it's just going to open up this XML file okay and that XML file can point to where the data are and to how we can uh, view those data well, all we need to do is right click on this link for using Windows and copy the link address now we can go over to QGIS um, so open QGIS if you don't have it opened already. I'm going to close my panel over here. Go to the browser. Um, you can access it from the browser to your browser tab here. You can also come up here to the um, data source manager and open this. We're looking for this WMS, WMTS option. Okay. So over here you can find WMS, WMTS. You can right click on it and do new or you can come to this um, new button here when you click new we can name it and give it a URL okay I'm going to come down and do it from the browser panel right click new connection the name is going to be 3DEP elevation the URL I'm going to copy paste that URL so control V if you're using Windows or you can right click and paste and once I have that I'm ready to go. I can just click OK here. And when I open this up, I have this 3DEP elevation connection now. And when I open this up, I have 3DEP elevation, and I can open that up, and you can see these different layers. So I have the elevation, aspect, contours, contours, um, uh, hill shade, height, slope, and degrees. Okay. So let's go ahead and just add the elevation. I can just click and drag that in. Great. And now you can see we have most of North America there. We don't have Mexico. Well, I guess we do have Mexico. We have North America there. So I'm just going to scroll in here, zoom in. And there I have the elevation data. Simple enough. Um, let's go ahead and add in the hill shade here, which we can just add in the, we can look at a couple different of them here. I'm just going to add in the hill shade gray. We can add in elevation tinted just to see what these look like. Okay, that's pretty cool, huh? So you can see you have a lot of cool base maps here that you can take a look at. If you don't like any of these, it also makes it possible to, I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to drag this hill shade down below my other elevation. And I can come in here go to my uh, transparency I can make this layer let's go for about 50 percent transparent okay and now I have kind of my own styling there um, let's see if we can actually even change the symbology for this I don't know if we'll be able to but we can give it a try okay so we can't we can't change the symbology here but you can see that you have that hill shade um, you have that tinted hill, hill shade, um, and you have just that basic elevation. There's also, uh, we have aspect and degrees. We can add that in. And we have slope and degrees. And so you can see the aspect and slope of these areas uh, as well. So that slope doesn't really give us too much there. 
not sure what's going on. Maybe I need to zoom in a little closer. It could be that most of these areas are at low slope and um, so it's dominating. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting a little more definition with the slope. So there's the aspect, here's the slope. You can see some definition in there now. So those are the layers you have access to um, for display purposes from the USGS. And like I said, it's a pretty cool data set that uh, that you can get and and just have to, to make your maps. Um, or just for simple visualization of the whole United States, if there's an area you want to look at but don't want to go through the process of downloading data for that specific area, this makes it really easy just to get a broad uh, overall look of what you might see there. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, and go ahead, check out the Open Source Options website. Um, new content is going up there. Um, so I'm going to have a lot of these tutorials on the website, especially the ones that involve code. So you can copy the code from the website and, and use that code. I'll also have courses going up there soon, um, paid courses that offer more detail and data. So if you're interested in those, uh, go take a look at opensourceoptions.com. Thanks for watching.